I'm going to show you the bell jar experiment a little bit differently today. Uh, there are many YouTube videos showing uh, a, 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 some sort of sound inside a bell jar. You evacuate the air and it gets quieter. But this time we want to show you what happens inside the bell jar. What we're trying to prove here is that there's no sound in space. We obviously can't go into space, but we can take the bell jar and a vacuum pump and reduce the air pressure inside sufficiently enough to notice a difference. So what I'm going to do here, I have some uh, music from YouTube that's copyright free. We'll go ahead and put that in here. You'll notice I have uh, something I've built here that uh, is reducing the vibration because there may not be any air but there are, is possible vibrations with different solids and so forth that's touching. And then here we have another phone. Let's get that to where you can see. There you can see that the music is still moving, still going. And we are recording. Notice that the pressure inside is reducing. And we're gonna let that go a bit to make sure we get a very low pressure. Make sure the stopper is completely closed. So going. That's pretty good. All right, so now listen. Very difficult to hear anything there. So let's go ahead and open up the air. Now you can already hear that, that there's more, it's louder now uh, because there's air inside the uh, chamber. Um, it's also quieter just because the plastic itself reduces the amount of sound that can get through. The real question is, what does it sound like inside? And we are recording. hearing what you did inside you notice that there was distortion of the sound it may not have been a completely quiet but you could hear some significant distortion because the sound was having a very difficult time traveling through the vacuum there's still a little bit of sound coming through vibrations and we can't remove all of the molecules of air but we can remove as many of them as possible and you notice a significant difference so that proves that sound requires some sort of medium to travel through just like water needs to go sorry water waves go through water sound waves go through air and other mediums that's why when we tell you there's no sound of space it's because there's no medium for the sound to travel through